Alrighty folks. How you doing? I'm back again. Uh, still in the 1920s, dump, 30s. But I thought I'd, I'm not sure, I don't know if this is broken or not or what it is, but it's right here. And it is not broken. Lid's still on. It's like a face cream, small one. Could even been a sample size. Or I guess could have been yeah, could have been anything really. That was definitely milk glass. Uh, it was probably ponds. But because that's the common brand around here. Now look at that. Milk glass. With the original lid and no chips or cracks. Okay, let's go on to the next. What else we got? Oh, more stones. Yeah. Stones never end. Oh, we've had a bit of rain. Show you this. You look down on the hole, like those those stones, like it's hollow down there. So I said, whatever is down there is uh, probably broken, which is sad. And another bottle popped out of the dirt pile when I was showing you that. And this says, oh, well, it's got 6100, the serial number. Could have been a man's cologne or aftershave. It's got lines. Uh, looks to be our deco. So, you'll notice the lines. They had a lot of that in the 20s, early 30s. There's nylon, by the way, if anybody wants to know. Whatever it was, it's just definitely tear in it. show you in this it just isn't that much but I guess it's the never know what's gonna pop out of the pile Okay, I'm going to move you again. Go over here and finish up this pile. Hasn't been too exciting. Hopefully, we can find something a little more exciting. I hope we do anyways. I'll get them out of the way. That's a good sign. Cans. And this can is probably bottles. Keep getting this. Okay. 
here, so it's going to be some bottles. It's definitely a can. Something, folks. Let me just get underneath it. More batteries. Close up. Oh. oh, damn it. And that's a rare bottle, too. Robertson's Mount Forest. I've been told that's a rare pop bottle. And the paint is in great shape. So, that is a son of a gun. Oh, well, back to the drawing board. Spice jar of some kind. Quite decorative. And that's for the label when I went. Ah, oh, man. That just rots my socks. And the top wasn't even there. So she must have rolled someplace. Batteries, more batteries. this oh look at that the 1950s see what I mean underneath this is the 1920s so the 1950s is on top and then as we go down we get into the 1930s and 40s so I am correct about it being a generational job. Oh, one can't.
definitely uh, taking the license plate home. Okay, so I'll put you back here. Hey folks, I take a pause.